I remember. All right, I remember when Jasmine was right here. You know, when Jasmine was right here, somewhere around here, guys. You know, going up and down, up and down. You know, very boring. Wasn't really doing much. And some of you, you know, were losing faith in the project. You know, some of you uh, started to talk about that this was going to be actually before we got anywhere about you know anywhere around here. So I remember when Jasmine was right here. All right, I was talking about that once Jasmine start to look like this. I mean, guys, you know, simplicity is absolutely everything. You know, once the price, uh, once you know the chart of Jasmine starts to look like this, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Where the blue line, uh, blue line is a 21 moving average, is above the green line. Uh, the green line is my 50 moving average. So you want your short term moving average to be above your long term moving average. And once the price, you know, sits on top of the blue line, uh, Jasmine is going to rip. All right. And so this was one example. And I also showed you the other example, you know, the once Jasmine starts to look like this, you know, very same thing, guys. Blue line on top of the green, price on top of the blue line, you know, Jasmine is going to rip. So if you look at the current state of Jasmine, all right, char wise, this is exactly what it looks like, right? This is exactly what it looks like. And when we started to, you know, break above EMAs, uh, when the blue line, you know, got back above the green line, you know, I started to become uh, bullish on the price of Jasmine. And you look at the performance. Uh, Jasmine is up more than 100%, all right? It is up more than 100% in a very short period of time. Uh, now, I'm going to have to be honest, you know, I was not expecting uh, this move to play out this quick. You know, I thought, you know, this was going to take some time. You know, I thought this was going to, to be happening, you know, sometimes in, you know, maybe July or August. Uh, but... Doesn't matter, all right? It, it does not really matter. And this is why, you know, I only focus on, you know, what the chart looks like, all right? I spend most of my time focusing on, you know, what the chart actually looks like. And when the chart is bullish, like I, you know, tend to be a buyer and I tend to be bullish on the project until I'm proven otherwise, all right? That is what I spend most of my time doing. Uh, but anyways, I mean, this looks incredible, guys. Uh, this is the daily but I am going to give you a heads up. You know, the daily time is definitely starting to look extended. And when we're starting to look extended, you know, what that could potentially mean is that at any time, you know, we could get a pullback. All right. At any time, you know, we could absolutely get a pullback. Uh, if we do get a pullback, you know, areas to keep an eye on is uh, the previous high. So right here. That was a resistance. You know, that is an area to keep an eye on. And also, you know, you want to keep an eye on, you know, key moving average. So the 21 moving average is something that I would absolutely keep my eyes on. Uh, as of right now, it is exactly at 02796. Now, let me remind you, you know, this is a rising moving average. So when we do get a pullback, you know, if we do get a pullback, uh, the 21 week, excuse me, daily could potentially be higher. So it could potentially be around uh, the three cents range. All right. Because this is, you know, a rising uh, moving average. So the daily is definitely getting extended, you know, which could potentially trigger, you know, some sort of a pullback. You know, if you also look at the daily MACD, you know, a little bit too extended. Uh, we broke above, you know, this resistance right here. All right. And, uh, you know, here we are. So we could, you know, we could absolutely continue to go up. But these are just, you know, in the short term, you know, these are your, you know, these are your heads up, right? Like, you know, these indicators are giving you a heads up that maybe, you know, there's going to be a pullback, you know, sometimes in, you know, in the near future. All right. We don't have to pull back, you know, because there is no sign of a pullback right now. Uh, Jasmine looks extremely bullish. All right. The only listen, the only way I'm saying that there's going, you know, there could potentially be a pullback is because, you know, we just extend it. All right. When your price, when the price is, you know, far from your EMAs and when you have, you know, a chart that looks like this, you know, a pullback is always around the corner. 
Now, let me show you the, you know, the most bullish outlook of Jasmine. So if you look at the weekly, I mean, this thing, you know, I don't think the weekly time frame is going to top out until 10 cents, right? I think this weekly move could continue all the way up to 10 cents, you know, before we get a weekly pullback. So, you know, if you think about what that looks like from the current price, you know, that's another, you know, 150% rally, all right? That is another 150% rally. Now, if you look at the entire move, you know, from the bottom of the pullback, this is, you know, a 500% move. Guys, I remember, I mean, literally, I was talking about these exact moves a couple weeks ago. All right? I mean, I'll show you guys. I was literally predicting that from the bottom of the pullback, you know, when Jasmine was actually pulling back, I was predicting that we were going to have a 500% rally. And that's exactly what I'm looking at right now. So if we go, you know, a little bit back. Uh, so like, so look at this right here, right? A 200% rally. So I was looking at five cents, all right, for this 200% rally. And uh, let me see if I put those. Uh, all right, this will be a five. Here, I was talking about a 10x. All right, from the bottom of the pullback. I mean, you can't make this up, guys. So if you look at these updates, uh, what is up with these commercials? You know, if you look at these updates right here, like here, I was talking about Jasmine doing a 10x from the bottom of the, you know, of the pullback. So, you know, a 10x looks basically like this. Going from the bottom of this pullback, you know, going up 10x, you know, that takes the price of Jasmine. Uh, somewhere around, you know, 16 cents. So, like this right here was a 10x opportunity. Right? So, if you were accumulating, as long as you hold on to that position, you know, this is the type of move that, you know, that you're looking at. Uh, but anyways, so going back to, you know, what the weekly chart looks like. Yo, know, if you're not bullish on this thing, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, to be honest. Uh, I have no idea, you know, what else you know, that I can show you for you to be bullish on this thing. Uh, I mean, guys, listen, my analysis is basically going to be just me repeating the same stuff over and over and over. And that's because, you know, technical analysis doesn't have to be complicated, all right? It, the simpler, all right, the simpler your technical analysis, excuse me, uh, the simpler your TA is, you know, I think the better the investor, all right? You know, less things on the chart, uh, you don't need 20 different moving average. Uh, look at the price action. Uh, see where, you know, see what the chart actually looks like and see where, you know, the asset is potentially heading. So, I mean, this looks bullish. There's really nothing. Like, I, honestly, like there is no new information, guys. I don't have any new information for you guys. Like, I, I showed you exactly you know, all of this, like over the last, I mean, I don't even know how long at this point, right? You go to my, if you go to my Twitter and you look at, you know, Jasmine right here, guys, like these are the updates, honestly, right? These are some of my early updates. Like I was talking about these moves, you know, so early on, like this is an update from February, you know, right here when we had that, you know, 100% pump. Price of Jasmine was around 00891. All right. And, and, and look at like that, you know, that move was literally talked about, you know, early on. This is Jasmine, guys. 00783. Like these are some of my, you know, early updates. But, you know, if you go to my YouTube and you look up, you know, some of my Jasmine content, like it goes. Way, 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 way back, guys. Like when Jasmine was around zero, zero, three. Like my average price is around zero, zero, three, guys. I mean, that's how far back, you know, I go uh, when it comes to this project. So what's happening right now is, you know, something that I honestly talked about. And, you know, there isn't, right, there isn't anything new that I'm going to share with you guys that... You know, that's really going to be different, you know, unless, you know, something changes right here on this weekly. Uh, but anyways, so we go into 10 cents on the weekly time frame. You know, Jasmine is going to 10 cents. 
on the daily we could potentially push to five and then get a you know get a pullback but that is going to be a daily pullback we are not going to have a weekly pullback so basically something like this until 10 cents so if we get to 10 cents we could potentially get something like that again and then you know i think this is going to be the final leg this right here all right so basically you know if you think about 